In this video, we're going to walk you through how to create an assignment within Canvas using a PDF. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create the assignment using a PDF. And then in part two of this video, we'll show you how your students can actually go in and complete the assignment that you've created by typing or annotating, highlighting, marking up uh, different items on a PDF. So the first thing you'll notice is we're at our module screen inside of our Canvas course. And we're going to go in and we're going to create an assignment. And when we create the assignment, we're going to create it as a PDF assignment. So I'm going to select the module in which I want to create the assignment in. So in this example, I'm going to create it in the EL module, Unit 1, Lessons 1 through 4. I'm going to choose from the drop-down menu the assignment, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Cami Example Assignment. And the reason I'm going to call it Cami Example Assignment is just for this example, we're utilizing a tool called Cami. Cami is the tool in which allows the teachers and the students to mark up that PDF. So we've created the assignment, just like I would with any other assignment. If I were creating a Google Docs assignment or if I was creating a text box entry assignment, I've got the assignment created. Then I click on the assignment itself, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the assignment. Click the edit button in the top right corner. When I edit the assignment, you'll see that I get my rich content editor. Based on all the different videos and things that you may have learned already, this rich content editor you should be somewhat familiar with. This is where you would provide the instructions for the assignment. So I'm just going to type in instructions for assignment. Go in this box. Of course, this is where you could embed the um, you could embed the YouTube video or more directions and things like that here within the the box. So anything here, resources and things that you want your students to have access to, they'll go here. In this example. Our PDF doesn't go in this box. I'll show you where the, we're going to embed that PDF in just a minute. You scroll down here and you're going to select the point value. So let's just say this is going to be 100 points. I want to display my grade as a percentage. And then right here it's submission type. This is going to be the, uh, the big part that I want to make sure that everybody understands so that you can upload this PDF as an assignment. So from the submission type, we're going to choose external tool. So this is very similar so far as to how you would create a Google Docs cloud assignment. We've gone through the same exact steps. The difference is when I click find here, instead of finding the external tool called Google Docs Cloud Assignment, I'm going to find the external tool called Cami Google Drive Assignment. As it says, this allows you to pull in documents from your Google Drive and send them as an assignment, turn them in, and grade with Cami. Uh, as I said before, Cami is going to be your tool that allows you to mark up and edit the PDF. So we're going to go in here and it's going to ask you to select the PDF that you want, that you want to upload into your assignment into Canvas. So I know I've worked with this one recently. It's connected to my Google Drive. I'm going to select the PDF that I want and insert it into the assignment. If you had not authorized your Google Drive yet, this would be the screen in which would show up to have you authorize your Google Drive. As long as you see your Google Drive, that's where your PDF needs to be stored. If your PDF is not in Google Drive, you can simply move it into the Google Drive storage platform. And then when you sign in and go to create the assignment, it should show inside of your Google Drive. So I know that I've done it correctly because I see a URL here. And I'm going to now hit select once I've selected the PDF. The rest of the assignment here is just specifics to assignments that we've covered in previous videos. This is where I want to allow unlimited attempts, or I could choose how many attempts that I want them to have access to. Do I want to assign it to everybody? Do I want to give it a due date? Those kind of things. So in this example, I'm just going to click Save. And when I click Save, you'll notice, just like in our Google Docs Cloud assignment, a PDF loads in this example. And so once the PDF loads, I know that I've done it correctly. So now, as the teacher, I've created the PDF. I've put it in there as an assignment for the students to be able to mark up and edit. And now in the next part of the video, we'll show you how students will go in and mark up and edit and work on this PDF right within Canvas. All right, so in this video, we're going to walk you through as a student how students will submit a PDF assignment within Canvas. So in the previous video or the previous segment of this video, we showed you how a teacher would go in and create the PDF assignment using a tool called Cami to an external tool for them to set up the assignment. So now from the student perspective, I've signed into my Canvas course. I'm looking at my module screen here, and this is the assignment in which I need to complete for my teacher. So in this example, I'm going to click on the 
assignment, the PDF assignment that the teacher has already put in. I'll notice that the Kami PDF loads. Um, if, if a student has not authorized their Google Drive or has not authorized Kami to work within Canvas, it'll prompt them to sign in with their Google account, and that's what they would do here. So now that we've got the assignment loaded, I'm now ready as a student to go in and complete the assignment. So in this example, I want to show you how to basically use these markup tools. We're going to focus on just two tools in this example. One is a text box. That's probably going to be the most popular part of this. And the other is just simply highlighting text or highlighting a block of text. So in this example, let's say that I want to insert a text box. So as a student, I'm looking at the PDF. The instructions may be here, and this is where the teacher would have typed in these specific instructions for me, or possibly they're on this just the PDF itself. So just looking at some of the tools and making this super simple, one of the things that you would want to do as a student in many cases is insert a text box on top of the PDF. So I'm going to choose text box. I've got different color palettes here that I can choose from, different size font. We're just going to leave it at 14 and choose the black font here. I'm going to click, double click in the box provided, and now this is where I could simply type the answers to the question. So I can do this for multiple um, spaces or multiple places inside of that PDF. And so you'll notice I can just click there and I can continue to type. Um, I can click over here. Anytime I double click on the space provided, then I will get my text box that appears there. And so that's how I would insert a text box as a student. Super simple. Just select text box and then go into the space that you want to insert the text box. And when you click there, you'll be able to type right there inside of that text box. Now, in some examples, your teacher may have you go in and um, highlight text or highlight a block of text on a PDF. And how would you do that? We're going to come up here to the markup tool. When I click on the markup tool, I get a couple things here that list uh, different ways to mark up the document. Let's say that I want my te or my highlight to be this yellow color here. I'm going to select the yellow color. And then I'm going to steer away from this text highlighter in this example. And I'm going to go down here where it says box highlighter. I'm going to select box highlighter and box highlighter is where I can go in and basically make a box around the text that I want to highlight. And so if my teacher is asking me to highlight certain parts of the text or look for keywords in the text um, or, or whatever the specific task may be, by choosing the markup and choosing the box highlighter, I can go in here and select certain parts of the text to highlight. So I may have to highlight different things in different colors. So if I just select a different color, I can simply come back in by using the box highlighter and highlight those different parts of the text. And so those are going to be your two big tools, your uh, markup tool where you're using the box highlighter and then also your text box there. And so by selecting either one of those, I can then insert those into um, the Kami PDF and this will be ready for submission. If I come back up here to select, I can click the select button. And I can simply come in and select the different things that I've highlighted here, and I get some different options with that. Now, as we move further along in using Kami and we move further along in using our PDFs inside of Canvas, we'll explore some of these other tools. But we wanted to make it super simple. The first video that we put out here, looking at different um, options within Kami and PDFs. And so we just showed you the markup tool and we showed you the text box. Now finally, how would you submit an assignment inside of Canvas once you're done? So I've now worked on this. I've provided the, uh, the, the answers that I need to provide. I'm ready to now turn this in as the student into Canvas. I can just simply come over here and in the top right corner of my PDF window, I've got a submit button. So I'm gonna click submit there and it's gonna give me some information about ready to submit the assignment. So I click submit. It's going to now submit this into Canvas so that my teacher has the ability to go in and view this in, in SpeedGrader. So I get confirmation as a student that it's been submitted because I get an unsubmit option here where I could retrieve that submission and rework on it if my teacher is now wanting me to work on that in another setting. So that is how a student would go in and submit an assignment, a PDF assignment, using the Cami tool.